you look at what we have left, and the other day Jason Whitlock made an interesting point. He goes, I think Cam and Russell are Peyton and Brady. Same conference. Yeah. One's, the, one's the profound collegiate star. Uh, I mean, God, from the looks to the size to the arm, the other is drafted low, obsessed, committed, that being Brady or Russell Wilson. And, you know, I think about how the game is changing. Is it possible Jason Whitlock is right, that we're going to see Russell and Cam for the next 12 years battle it out like Brady and Manning? I really hope so. But you know what occurred to me the other day? If Seattle doesn't fix its offensive line, if they don't protect Wilson, did you see some of the shots he took? For some reason, for some reason, it's almost like Russell Wilson has got some suit of armor on, and he always just gets up from these blows. He never appears to be hurt or banged up or anything like that. But, Colin, that's, that's, that's fool's gold right there. If Seattle doesn't spend more time, energy, high draft choices, because they're pro- I would think that they're going to lose Russell Okun. Uh, I would think. I don't know. But, I mean, he's, somebody's going to want to pay him a lot of money. And, you know, he's a good but not great left tackle. That's right. And he was drafted to be a great left tackle, and he's been good. But is he worth twelve million a year or no, whatever something? No. I don't think so. No. So John Schneider has got a lot of rebuilding to do. So but my only point is I absolutely unequivocally can see that. Um and I hope it is, because those two guys are tremendously entertaining to watch. Yeah. And Manning and Brady are pocket guys. They're you know, they're Jurgensen and, and uh, you know, and whoever of the 60s and 70s. And, and so I want to see the new kind of quarterback, and these guys are both the new kind of quarterback, and it would be great if we saw them for the next 10 or 15 years at the top of the heap.